Welcome to a demonstration of how to perform a substructure search using the Know-It-All informatics system. In the Search It application, scientists can use a structure fragment as a search term to locate chemical structures containing that structural skeleton. This capability is useful for retrieving structure fragments because a substructure search always analyzes the entire molecular structure of a compound, not just the largest fragment. The Search It application can be used to perform spectral, peak, property name, and structure searches, either individually or in combinations. We will perform a structure search using several of the mass spec databases. We begin by limiting the database display to the spectral technique we're interested in. The database display has been filtered to show only mass spec databases. To select a database for searching, either select it and click Add, or double-click it. You can also click Add All if you wish to search against all of the available databases. Once we have selected the databases we wish to search, we can specify the type of search using the buttons on the search bar. When we click Structure, a new tab is added to the display. Note the red X next to the Structure button, indicating that the search has not yet been properly defined. There are two ways to define the search structure, either by opening an existing structure file, or by drawing or editing a structure using the Know-It-All Draw It application. If we draw or edit a structure, we can use any of the variable indicators listed on the Search tab. We'll use an existing structure file in this example. Note that the red X has been replaced with a green check mark, and the search button is now available. Both exact match and substructure searches can be performed, and results can include stereochemical variants if desired. We'll start by performing an exact match search. The results are automatically displayed in the MINED application as a hit list. The Analytical Techniques hyperlink in the Spectrum column gives access to other database records for the structure. Click it to open the Analytical Techniques pane. This pane shows all spectra available for this structure and includes database name, solvent, or other details, and a link to the database record. Many other spectra are available for this structure. Let's examine one of the IR spectra. The appropriate database opens in the MINED application to the record of interest. We can switch back to the hit list by clicking its tab under the database pane, then use the back arrow to return to the Search It application, where we will modify the search parameters. The selected databases remain the same, and so do the structure search parameters. We'll change the exact match search to a substructure search. Now, rather than finding only exact matches for the search structure, the search will return all records that contain the query structure as a part of the database structure. As expected, the substructure search produces more hits than the exact match search. Note that the original hit list and the IR database are still displayed. We can scroll through the records in the new hit list. Click Analytical Techniques to see what other spectra are available for this compound. Unlike the first example, only one other spectrum is available for the compound. The CNMR database opens in a new tab. This concludes our demonstration of how to perform a substructure search in the Know-It-All informatics system.